Hello to you all. My name is Trevor Milanzi from Motor MW and I'll be taking you through today's idea. So today's idea is based from the facts from an experiential fact. Um, so for most of you that may know me, I do manage uh, a car hire as part of my other business that I do. And for those who would also want to start, let's say, a car hire business and how they can actually mitigate some of the risks that are there, please feel free to request a lesson. I think I already made the presentation on that one. But without further ado, today's idea is based on the, fact, the fact that if you're operating a business, some things can go wrong and things do go wrong. So I'm going to take it from my experience um, that while doing the car hire business, I faced several problems. And one of the biggest problems is accidents. So, for example, if you can actually take a look at this one of the cars to say, once it gets involved in an accident, most people would actually start to think to say, um, this is a problem. How do you, who pays for the damages, what about insurance and all those things, but that's not the idea. Rather, there's an opportunity for you to get something out of this. And um, the opportunity comes from the fact that accidents happen and when they happen, who do you contact? So. If you're involved in an accident, for example, chances are high that you're going to contact the police, assuming you are involved in an accident with another car. But if it's something to do with, let's say you hit a tree, something like that, basically, the, as much as you can call the police for the statement and everything and so you can go to the insurance company, if you had an accident, let's say a roundabout, you're not going to leave the car there. It has to be taken away, either to a garage or back to your house. And that's today's business. Excuse me. And that's today's business idea. So, wherever an accident happens, there will be this car. So this car will be responsible. It's, rather, it's called a tow truck. It's the one responsible for getting your car away from the accident site to wherever you're going to park it. So whether you're going to park it at your home or wherever it is but this is the car that it's going to help you through and this is the business that i would like to present to you today that you can actually have a tow truck so most of the tow trucks um, have this bearing thingy uh, which can go up and down depending and it's there to lift so some of the things are installed locally but most of the things as you can see are uh, come with a itself so when you are buying the car you can just actually choose the one that actually uh, suits your preference so where do you buy these cars for a start you can search through online websites before and you can actually find them how much do they cost they cost quite a fortune you may need a budget of about 25 to 50 million depending on the complexity of the car itself I've also seen other cars that they just have the truck and they can install everything off-site. So not everything comes with high-end technology like this one to say with gears and everything. But basically that's the whole principle that you need. And it's a bigger truck that would tow away the car. And um, I know some of you may be thinking that, okay, maybe I cannot be able to uh, have 30 million, for example. So you may not have all that amount at once, but sooner or later, whether you're working, you're going to have pension. You may be thinking to say, oh, now that I've received my pension money, I have 50 million, what do I do with it? So in most cases, you actually start thinking of, say, let me build a house and whatnot. But imagine if you have 30 million, instead of building a house, which may take you a, a year or two, you can buy that truck. And for most people to hire that truck, it costs about 50,000. So each trip that you make 50,000 and how many accidents happen in a day or in a month. So you can actually see that within a month, you can actually be able to make more than if you can actually build a house and rent it out. So let's say you buy the truck and each week you just need one client, for example. So each week you tow away at least one car, that's 50,000 for you and you're making a minimum of 200,000, at least on a minimum, assuming you're not even marketing that much and you're just saving one customer per week. And within a year, that's quite a lot. 
and that's the money you can actually use to build your house so instead of just saying okay i'm going to build a house worth 20 million why don't you take that money buy the tow truck and let it build the house for you so it's not always about saying that i don't have 30 million right now but it's an issue of having the idea and whatever time you, you never know um, i would rather say that um, i would rather have the plan a 50 million kwacha plan that if someone says i have 50 million i should just say okay i have everything ready for you this is what i think you should do or this is what we can do other than to say that uh, i have 20000 only i want a business of 20000 so some of these ideas are there to help you digest and have an idea on what you can do with any amount of money that you can have or any amount of money that can come your way because you never really know it might be next year you get a contract sorry for that so in most cases um, these are some of the things that people tend to overlook because they think it's too expensive but also imagine in terms of collaboration you can actually decide to start a company and when you start a company you can say okay let's have shares so if you start a company of 30 people and each one is contributing 1 million that's enough to buy the car if you start a company of 15 people everyone is contributing at least 2 million so you have all these things that you can actually find ways of financing so my colleague Eunice was also coming through to pitch in on the business financing so you can actually also have other alternatives in terms of how you can finance your business but for today's idea this is the idea that i had for you that there are almost 4,000 cars that come through malawi each and every month that's almost over 100 cars a day and all of these um sooner or later they'll be involved in an accident and when that happens you should be the one to make money out of it by having this truck and this truck can help you make money by making sure that each accident that happens within an area you are the one that's called to say can you come and tow away my car it has an accident or this place and so 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 having a simple truck like this is much convenient than buying a minibus minibuses don't last a minibus can only last like a year and most of them don't actually take care of them but if you have something like this this is something that's if you can operate once a week or twice a week i think that's a good uh, start and it's a good business in my opinion thank you for watching and i hope you've been inspired and that sooner or later you're going to have your 50 million kwacha business plan that even if you don't have the money at least have the plan that whatever may fortune may come your way and you should be ready when that happens